Hi, I'm Michael Hartley. I'm the webmaster of Dr. Mike's Maths Games for Kids. And I'm here to show you how to use one of the games on my site. It's called Printable Space Birthday. And the way it works, it lets you work out exactly how many years old you are as if you were born on Mars or Jupiter or Venus or any other planet in the solar system. Well, almost. So the way it works is you download these, these worksheets here. So here's one. It's, uh, the, the worksheet comes in three parts. Sheet A, it works out how, if you, it takes a date and works out how many days between the 28th of February 1900 and that date. So why you would need that, I'll explain in a little in a little while. So I'm going to use I'm going to show you how to use worksheet A here, and we're going to work out Neil Armstrong's space birthday. We're going to work out how many Jupiter years old he, he is. So we start with the year he was born, which is 1930, and the month, which is August. And the day, which is 5th, he was born on the 5th of August, 1930. Now, this worksheet uh, will only work for years between 1901 and 2099. So you can't actually use it, say, for Albert Einstein's space birthdays or, or Isaac Newton's. There's another web page on my site that, that, where the computer does that for you. And you can work out for, you can work out space birthdays for any year, for people born in any year at all with that page. So, I write the date in these boxes. And then the worksheet's pretty simple. We just follow the arrows, we copy numbers along the arrows, and any time we can, we do the calculations that are indicated. So 8 plus 9 is 17, and then we copy the, the answer down the arrow. 17 gets copied here. Some of the division questions in the worksheet are division with remainder. So here's 17 divided by 12 is 1, remainder 5. Here we copy the 1 up there, and the 5 gets copied down here. Some of the, however, others, you actually need a calculator for, or unless you're really good at multiplying with decimal. I'd suggest you are going to need a calculator for some of them. So... Let's work this out. 5 times 30.6, 5 times 30.6 plus a half is 153.5. So you see the decimal point there? I'll make, just make it bigger. Now, in this instance, it's just the 153 that gets copied down. So let's do that. 153 gets copied here. There's a 5 that's copied there. We're nearly done. This answer here, 1930 subtract 1901 is 29, plus 1 is 30. I'll copy the 30 across here. 30 divided by 4 is 7, and the remainder is 2. And these co get copied up here. And finally here, remember you must take into account order of operations. So these multiplications get done. You don't just say 5 plus 153 plus 1,461 and then multiply that whole thing by 7. No, no, no. You multiply 1461 by 7. That's 10,227. I'll write that there. I don't have to. I will write 10227. 365 times 2. That's 730. Now we're ready to add all these numbers together. 5 plus 153 plus 10227 plus 730 is. One, 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 five. And that's the number of days 
from the 28th of February 1900 until the day Neil Armstrong was born. So I've also worked out for the day he passed away. And I got the answer 41,086. What do you do with these numbers? Well, you put them into sheet B. And that's going to work out how many days between those two days and then how many, let's say, Saturn years. Let's imagine Neil Armstrong was born on Saturn and work out how old he was when he died or what his next birthday was going to be. So, 41086 from... I'm calling it today, even though it's not actually today. He didn't die today. He died in 2012. And... His birthday, the number for his birthday was 11115. Now, unsurprisingly, the very first thing you do in worksheet B is subtract these two numbers. 41086 minus 11115 is 29971. Now, this number here gets copied down here. We're going to convert this to a number of years for Saturn. Let's say Saturn. 10759.22. That's the number of days in one Saturn year. You'll notice I don't have the planet Neptune. That's because, as I said before, these worksheets only work for dates between... 1901 and 2099, and one Neptune year is 165 years. It's just not going to, the number's going to be out of range for this worksheet. And let's not even talk about Pluto. It's not even a planet. So let's say we copy this number here 10759.22, 10759.22. This is where you really do need to break out the calculator, even if you didn't before. Unless you really want to divide by 10,759.12 in your head, let's work this out on the calculator. 29971, subtract 0.5. Now that's in brackets, so I do do that first. Then we'll divide by 10759.22. Add 1. And that gets 3.5. 785. This is actually how many Saturn years um, Neil Armstrong will be on the date that this worksheet is going to calculate. I'll make a note on a future on a future version of this worksheet that that's exactly what that is. So we'll copy the three down here. How many days is three Saturn years? Well, we'll multiply this 10759.22 times 3 and a half. That's just so the rounding comes out correct. 32278.16. 32278.16. Okay, so 32278, that's how many days. What we next need to do is copy down his, the number of days corresponding to the day he was born and we now get 32278 plus 11115 we now get a number corresponding to Neil Armstrong's next Saturn birthday or the next one after he passed away but this is not much use. It's not a date. To convert it to a date, I've got a third worksheet. Worksheet number C. And these all come in one printable file with some instructions. So we're going to take that number, 43393. And this worksheet, worksheet C, will convert that to a date. So again, it's the same procedure. We'll copy the numbers along arrows. Do the calculations. Again, there's some ones that need calculators. 
So I'll just do this quickly. One one nine point eight oh three three one one nine. Okay, that's one one nine there. Three six five point two five times one one nine is. Two nine three point three five. So two nine three gets copied here. So this is working out something. Two nine three divided by thirty point six plus two point zero one six is eleven point five nine. That's eleven divided by twelve. 11 divided by 12 is 0, the remainder is 11, so 0 gets copied up here, and you get 119 plus 1899, and that's the year, we've worked out the year of his next space birthday, his next Saturn birthday, the remainder here is 11, Plus one is 12, and that's the month. The month of his next Saturn birthday is 12. We've just got the day left to work out. 293. 293. Okay, 30.6 times 11 is 336.6. We need to subtract that from 293, which is negative 43.6, add 62.7 to that, and that gets 19.1. And so, Neil Armstrong, the, the next Neil Armstrong's Saturn birthday, after the day he died, is the 19th of December 2018, and he'll be three years old. I hope his friends have a cake for him, a satin-shaped cake. And that's how this worksheet works.